you, Paul. Gloucester this weekend, it's your old club. Are you the inside man for the Saints? Uh, I wish I was, to be honest, but I'd, uh, I'd imagine they would um, they would know that I'd be getting probed for information, so uh, I, I reckon they would have changed everything. But, um, you know, in terms of what they do, it's going to be very similar to what they did last year, but, uh, you know, as 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 the Saints will play the same as they did last year, you know, it's um, there's no secrets really to be told. But, um, yeah, it's going to be, obviously, I know the way that they play, but, but they equally know the way that I play and know the way that sort of, you know, Lammy and uh, and Eustace and people like that. So it's um, it's a double-edged sword, really. Came here last season, picked up the win with Gloucester. I mean, at that time, you knew you'd be joining Saints. Was that a bit of a surreal experience? Yeah, it was. I mean, it was announced quite early and um, it was it was tough. I remember getting a bit of banter off Dallas, you sort of first scrum and, uh, you know, obviously it was... Um, Gloucester ended up going away with the win, but um, no, it was a tough encounter. And, and you know, thankfully, when I announced it last year, I, I had there was a good run of games afterwards, and we and we, we went very well. So it didn't really factor into the, my performances, or, or you know, until after the end of the season. Um, so uh, you know, the fact that it's my old club this weekend, it's it's no different. It's another game of rugby for me, and uh, one for my new club in, in uh, the new uh, my new stadium. So I'm really looking forward to it. You mentioned the new stadium; it was obviously packed that day. How much are you looking forward to being on the? Um, not the receiving end, I suppose, on the, on the right side of that support. Yeah, definitely. I can't wait. It's, uh, it's always one that I enjoyed coming to play here, just with the surface and, the, and like you say, the fans and stuff like that. It's, um, it's uh, one I'm really looking forward to it being rocking again and cheering for us. It's, um, yeah, it's a great stadium with a great fan base, so I'm um, hoping they all turn out in their droves this weekend. Gloucester, obviously, a well-supported club, nice stadium, um, top four team last season. Saints, very similar. What differences have you picked up on though between the two clubs? Um, they are very similar, like you say. Um, they're very, you know, quintessentially English clubs, I suppose. Um, both try and play a bit, but also have that uh, grounded forward tradition. So I think that um, they're very similar, and uh, it's going to be, who, you know, on mistakes probably this weekend. Who makes the least mistakes, and um, you know, who can really get off onto the right foot? It's, um, there's, there's not much to pick between the two teams, and, and obviously, you know. Um, it's going to be, you know, you're a braver man than I am if you can, uh, you know, pick between them. But um, no, but I think both teams will be coming off the back of strong pre-seasons and, and just looking forward to get out there and, and, and doing a job because, you know, you've spent weeks and weeks preparing for it and, and now the time's finally come, so everyone's sort of chomping at the bit, really. We've talked to you a couple of times, spoke about settling in rugby-wise. Off the field, how's it going for you? Yeah, fantastic. Um, I'm still waiting to move into my house, uh, so I'll be moving in there next Wednesday. Um, I can't wait to sort of get in there because at the minute I'm living out the back of my car. But um, no, in terms of off the pitch with the guys and, and things like that, slotted straight in. They're a great bunch of lads, and um, you know the, the backroom staff have helped out loads, and, and it couldn't have really gone any better. I'm um, delighted to be here, to be honest.